So I've been seeing a bunch of questions, and I'm wondering myself, on the uh, GoV RGB IC Pro. It's the four pin lights where you've got the four leads. I need to cut and reattach all of the leads as they come into the corners. So you can see I've got a pintle block. It's gonna go in that track, come through. I need to attach a wire, a short wire, to go through that pintle block to the other track. And I cannot get the RGB strip through without damaging it. I can't make a big enough hole. So I'm gonna see if I can cut it, splice it with a short piece of wire and that section that I cut still work. I've got like four feet extra that I need to cut off anyway. So I'm gonna see if that'll work. So I think the best way to test this is gonna be the sound mode. As you can see, any bit of sound, even little bits of sound, activate the lights and it goes all the way to the end. So I'm gonna try cutting it, splicing it, see if the end works properly. And I'm gonna say, do not cut these while it's on. You do not wanna fry these chips. If you cut it while it's on and you short the 24 volt to the data, you're gonna destroy the strip. Unplug it, shut it off completely, then cut it if you're gonna cut it. Okay, so I've got these soldered together. These are, that's four strands of the inside of Cat5e cable. Now let's see if this end works once I plug it in. Okay. So you can see this strand is per working properly and this strand also works. You can cut and extend the RGB IC Pro, the four pin wires. Just be very careful. Make sure all your connections like right there are not touching each other. I would recommend to use like a Cat5e cable like this. Take it apart, take the individual strands because they're solid copper wires. I would not suggest using uh, stranded wire. I would use solid copper wire. There you go. Do this at your own risk. I don't, uh, I'm not going to take any responsibility if you screw up your entire string of lights, but it is possible to do. Gobi says you can't cut, but obviously you can, and it works.